international energy companies, you know, publicly traded uh, brand names like Exxon Mobil, Chevron, BP, Royal Dutch Shell, Total, today they own roughly 8% of the world's proven reserves of crude oil. No more, roughly 8%. And that percentage isn't going to grow. If anything, it's going to shrink in coming years. National governments and national energy companies own more than 80% of the world's proven reserves of crude oil. And what that means is that the pace at which these reserves are going to be developed, you know, how fast they come online, you know, who, if anyone, helps to develop them, all this kind of thing, that is now going to be decided not by private companies and investors, it is going to be decided by national governments and their agents, national energy companies. That, too, is a big structural shift. In the 1970s and 1980s, one of the most important ways that the United States and its developed country allies responded to the challenge of OPEC and the assertion of market power by OPEC was to push in as many places as possible for upstream liberalization. And that set the stage for big upstream plays by major international energy companies in places like the North Sea, the North Slope, over time the Deepwater Gulf of Mexico, the Gulf of Guinea in Africa, the Caspian Basin after the breakup of the Soviet Union. But there aren't any big upstream plays available today for international energy companies. That option doesn't exist anymore, and that is a structural shift. 